I'm not throwing it out until it fall off of my leg. <laughs> like what? When I get like proposed to, people be dragging me for carrying this person. This isn't my preference for a clasp. And she scanned it and rung it up and I was like, the total is what? Please do not judge me. What? That is where she is from. Kind of get a hand sanitizer. Big boys get the stuff in the Air Force One. And that's just how I'm living. Money and pretty women. Baddest bras in the city. That's all I'm here. That's just how I'm living. Money and pretty women. Hundreds and fit. That's all I'm here. Hey y'all, it's all of Destiny. And today's video is going to be a luxury collective haul. Real quick, timestamp if you're ready to get right into it, but I got something to say real quick. August is going to be a whole collection pouring into September of videos that you all have specifically asked me for. A lot of them are out of my comfort zone, but this month and these, I think we got 14 videos, 13 now, are all requested by you all. So this is going to be a huge collective haul, luxury haul. If you're not into luxury hauls, um, if like designer things come off to some people as like a person is bragging or something if you know me Then you know I'm not you know, you know what it's given I would suggest to maybe Not watch this one and wait on one of the other videos in the collection that you all have curated for the next couple of uploads So yeah, I'm excited. I hope y'all are too. Now we can get into it. We got shoes. We got purses. We got jewelry I record it Yeah, you gonna cry today so this is the packaging that my wallet came in. You will have the dust bag that comes with your wallet as well. So the first item is this Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet. Y'all know like the zipper spot on purses. I literally would just like grab all of my cards and my money. I would like put them just inside of the zipper spot. Like it was not housed neatly inside of my purse. So I was like, you need a wallet. <laughs> and I had like a different wallet, but it was a bigger wallet. And so I wanted one that wouldn't take up as much space in the purse. Like when I slide this one in, it fits perfectly. So I do have the monogram one and then mine on the inside. You can change the different colors. You can actually get it engraved if you want as well with initials and all of that. I didn't want to do all of that and it was going to take longer to come. I chose the one with the pink on the inside because pink is my favorite color the reason that i ended up choosing this one is because it has six card slots you got three cards that you can put on this side three here you have two of the flat pockets we're gonna do a what's in my purse later Some loose little youtube cards when people are interested the two side pockets you have the bill slot some people when they do their reviews they kind of mention how you can fit more than one card in a slot if you would want to the one that really gravitated me to this one is because it was basically going to hold everything that i would want for it to hold you got your cards bill pocket and then you have the coin slot i don't really keep like changing mine every time because i got like this big jar where can i dump that jar at to exchange it for bills so this victorine wallet i did purchase for myself as a christmas gift back in december it didn't come in time for me to include it in vlogmas i think i made up my mind and i ordered this i think on like december the 22nd if you check my tiktok i've been categorizing all of my videos lately so you can kind of watch and see all of my unboxings but since i've had this de since december i am able to kind of speak on it a little bit the wear and tear this wallet still looks the same as when i first got it like it's not peeling it's not scratching the thread isn't messed up and you also have when you do want to keep your change you can kind of unzip right here i'm very satisfied everything is going to be linked down below in order so the next item is this louis vuitton bag this was really the reason if you're wondering like how i narrowed down which brand i wanted to get because i carry this purse like a lot people be dragging me for carrying this purse so much but this purse carries everything <laughs> like if you're going to choose a size for a bag this one I love it. So this is the New Wave Chain Bag MM. I think the MM is just for the side. Listen, this a real regular <laughs> from a consumer's point of view, okay? So this one is the smooth cowhide leather. I got mine in the color taupe. So when we went to, when did we go to Miami? I think it was June of 22. Anyways, the Louis Vuitton Miami Design District. So I had made up my mind then. I was like, each time you take a trip, also get yourself a nice gift to bring back. You got like your pocket in the back um, where I can kind of keep like honey pot wipes and all of that. This is not the what's in my bag, Destiny, chill. And then you have two deep pockets. So one right here, one right here to also fit more things. You got your flat zipper. I like the detailing that they put into everything. Like on the zipper, if you look close, it's got like the Louis Vuitton the LV right there on the zipper part. I had screenshotted two different bags and I was like, okay, for me to not be so indecisive when I get in there, 
I like this one and I like this one. I went in, one of them wasn't available so that immediately helped me to narrow down to this one because otherwise you could get in a designer store and feel so overwhelmed like, oh my God, it's so much in here. I'm the type of person I don't like to be sold. I like to know what I went in for. Let me see it, let me get it. I like bags when you can kind of wear them crossbody and then you can also do it just as a shoulder bag so this wallet in particular I just like the way that it fits inside of here basically like that I'm probably not put it all the way in but you get the point thing let me know if y'all want me to do this one for the what's in my bag video so I can show y'all because I don't know which purse I want to do it with yet I haven't filmed in a while so this might be all over the place this was the first like larger size like standard type of size bag that I purchased for myself so I just have like a special love for her. And I'm the kind of person too, cause I know people be like, you really just like get use out of your bags. That is what I buy them for. If I save up to really buy something, I saved up to really use it <laughs> and wear it as well. And the material is really, it's not like scratched up, it's not beat up. It's still in great condition. Even with as much as I carry this bag, the quality is still amazing. Second item that I absolutely love in my collection. <laughs> this is the box that it'll come in. So this specific bag, I love Saint Laurent. My very first like designer bag that I purchased myself was a Saint Laurent. I don't know, I just love the way Saint Laurent does their thing. Like I'm just, I am not just find myself gravitating to it. I wasn't for sure if you all would want different prices on things. So for a future collector pile, let me know. So this is the YSL bag. Girl, what? MNG Sunset New Aspen Bro, I don't know. <laughs> Girl, it's say a whole lot. Anyway, so I got this bag in Chicago. Before we left to go to Milwaukee for the baby shower, if y'all saw that vlog, we actually caught our flight to Chicago and then we drove the rest of the way to Milwaukee. So y'all know me being me, I'm like, let me run to the mall. If y'all know why I'm always running to the malls when I'm out of town, for one, I do like to shop. And I live in Memphis, we don't really have like a lot of designer stores. Uh, we do have Joseph, which is Joseph's, which is just kind of like our main store where they house various designer brands in one store. So yeah, I knew I wanted to get a bag, but I didn't know what. So sometimes I am an impulse shopper kind of girl. I will admit that. I don't advise that, <laughs> but sometimes I am. You know how everybody got their thing? Random. I want to get into getting more colorful bags once I've gotten past just having like your standards, your blacks, your nudes. Um, and I loved the color on this one when I saw it. I use like the Brumman cleaner to keep this one clean, but I don't have any scratches on it. Like, it does hold a lot as well. So you have this section right here, and then the inside of it is like this. I kind of dirtied it up a little bit suede type of material on the inside. Like I said, I may be saying some of these things wrong. I'm just taking my little lucky guess. Big slot right here. You comment down below, what y'all use this pocket for on the back? And then you have the cute logo right here where it kind of just says Saint Laurent. You know, I love a good convertible bag. This actually goes with what I got on right now. So you can wear this bag like this, or if my hands are full and I'm trying to vlog, I'm real quick to crossbody a bag. <laughs> Cause I ain't gonna even gatekeep. I'm finna put y'all on. This one I actually got, it was a Saint Laurent outlet. I didn't even know that existed. I'm like, wait, like, I know you can catch like designer on sale sometimes, but I was like, wait, what? The original price on this bag was 2,700. With it being an outlet store, I got mine for $21.59. Y'all know I love a good sale. So when she told me that, I was like, wait, what? And they sent items brand new to the outlet store. So I was able to save about $500 on this bag. And when she told me that, I was like, wait, so that means I could pick something else. <laughs> so the other item that I ended up getting is this belt bag. So this is the Saint Laurent belt bag. I know you're looking like, what you gonna put in that little bitty thing? I wear this if I'm going to a festival. I also wore this in Orlando when we went like to the amusement park and everything, where you just need a little bit and you don't need too much. That's when this comes in handy. So inside of here, my car keys, my card, uh, lip gloss, something else I be putting in here. It holds what I need for it to hold. And then it closes. And I love the belt part. Like it's got a lot of the belt holes for you to kind of fit it to yourself. And then I just kind of like feed this through my belt loop. And you can decide if you want it like directly in the middle, if you want it to the left, to the right, all of that. So this bag is original 890 and I got mine for 709. So yeah, not for the sake of bragging, but letting y'all know the sale price that I was able to get on these. I wanted some shoes, I can't remember what it was. It was either the size, 
And then I think the different pair that I tried on fit, but I didn't like the color of it. The Saint Laurent sneakers. Been trying to find them for the longest. But one of the bags, if you all saw the Nashville vlog when we went to go and see Beyonce at the Renaissance tour. So this was that next bag. And this is the bag that it comes in. My Tory Burch bag. I forgot to Google the name of it. I have these blue Jessica Simpson heels and I just felt like I don't really wear them all the time because I was like, I really want to pop out with like a matching bag. Finally have found like the perfect blue. This one does have silver hardware. I don't have too many purses with the silver hardware because I'm such like a gold accessories kind of girl, but I still love this bag. I love the softness of the leather material on this one. And it's also a size that I love. I'm currently, currently carrying this one so all of my things are in it. It fits a good amount. So you also have your privacy. I like to call it just a little privacy zipper. Uh, right here in the back and then you got the Tory Burch little logo and I can kind of just do like a dump out to drop everything in and Then you have two of the smaller little pockets to hold a few more things right here like shoulder bag that converts to a uh, Crossbody basically and you can just grab and do both so I love this one and then you also will get your uh, Dust bag for it when you want to put it away and they're really sweet, the uh, Tory Burch that I went to in Nashville. The girls are really nice. I'm gonna see if the name of it is on here. The mall at Green Hills in Nashville, it just says small shoulder bag. So I'll see if I can find this exact color. Sometimes if I link things, it's like the bag, but not the right color. The description box will be very detailed. I love this bag. I'm gonna try to transition it into fall so where I don't have to put it away so soon. Depending on what you're wearing, and then it's just giving like, boom, pop a color. Like, this is my first Tory Burch. Bag, so she's special to me. If you all saw my recent Son of the First Lady video that we uploaded on Monday, then y'all saw this, this one in action. I'm sitting on my hair. This is my Kurt Geiger bag. And I actually got this one for my 32nd birthday. Shout out to my mama, yeah. I have been really wanting to get into Kurt Geiger. First of all, look at the detail. Like what? The tweet on this? And then the little Kurt Geiger logo. I love their logo so much and it's standard to the style of a bag that I love yeah like the shoulder straps on both of them which I love so crossbody like this it usually doesn't do that oh no <laughs> or you could do this one as a shoulder bag inside this one carries a lot as well so you could just boom then you have like two wide open slots on the inside it's not a zipper in the back but it does have like a privacy pocket this one came with a mirror the rest of these brands need to step it up because this one, look, y'all see the mirror? I feel like a lot of brands make similar bags, same look, different brand. And so it makes me think like, do y'all got the same private label company that y'all work with or like manufacturer? Like, are y'all working with the same vendor? What is it giving? <laughs> Minus the fact that this one has both of the straps, snaps in both spots. So I love this bag. Let me show y'all now. Moving along to shoes real quick. When we were prepping and doing all of that for my mom's birthday, me and mama always end up shopping together for some reason. But these, oh my God, I love these shoes. Do y'all see these? Like what? What? Look at this shoe with the rhinestones all over it. Oh my God. So I've only worn these once. I wore these for my birthday. So I need more occasions that call for these shoes, baby, because yeah, I love these. These are very easy to walk in despite what they currently look like. Do they run true to size? I got these in a 38 and a half, so yeah. I'm kind of like an eight, eight and a half type of girl. Really like an eight, if you want to buy me shoes. I wear eight, 38. <laughs> like when I put these on, I ain't worn but once, but when I had these on, don't talk to me. Don't play with me, come correct or not at all. That's what it's giving. So I don't know like the name. I'm gonna link them down below. When I've linked these before, they're easy to find for me to link for you all. Yeah, we need to stun on the first lady in this. Would you wear these shoes to church though? Like once I get a pair of shoes, it's like I need a bag to match. You get a purse, you need the shoes to match. And that's where I am lately in life. Combos. What is it giving? Due to the delicate nature of the ornaments, be gentle in everyday wear and care. Girl, we don't even wear these every day. Thank you. If you're a packaging person, their packaging is really cute too. Okay, while we're on shoes, I don't want y'all to see my light, that's ghetto. So the shoes that I wore to, oops. So the shoes that I wore to the Renaissance tour, because I took pictures in heels, but I was not about to wear heels in real life. Like I've been seeing people do the things to know about the Renaissance tour. And I just knew it was, I would not dare wear heels to a concert where I'm gonna be standing 
screaming like crazy, standing up the whole time. You got to walk there across the street from your hotel or whatever it's given when you get back in the crowd to get to your Uber or however you get in there. Anyway, so these are some shoes that I bought grindstones literally all over them. I got these in a size eight medium. So these are by Jessica Simpson. The blue heels that I posted that match the bag, um, are, the bag are Jessica Simpson as well. So I've only worn these once and they're really cute. I think this comes in another color. I love it. They're very comfortable. If you need some shoes for the concert and you want to be comfortable, I would definitely recommend these. If you can't find shoes to go with your outfit for the Renaissance tour, these are really comfortable to walk in. Um, and to stand up if you want to be dancing and singing and doing all the things. Or if you want to get this shoe and put it away for the end of the year uh, for like a sparkly New Year's Eve type of thing, definitely recommend this one as well. To my knowledge right now, I'm not missing any of the rhinestones. Love that for me. Am I? No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I felt really cute in these. Like the fact that it still matched my outfit. Like it wasn't giving like, mm. Like it still looked really good with a dressy outfit on. Put the picture up. Put the picture up. Okay, so we're on the last pair of shoes. These came from my plugs. So I might not be able to link these. I said what I said. <laughs> so these are my cute little soft pink. I told y'all I love pink. Pink is my favorite color if you're new here. My Air Force One, Air Force Get something in the Air Force One. Give me. Absolutely love these. I've only worn these probably a handful of times too. You got the soft pink and then you have the bandana darker pink for the Nike sign right here that I love. And then that transitions into the back part. The shoestrings match the color of the shoe. I got mine in a size. Oh, I got it in an A. So it's the pearl pink and then the coral chalk white. Air Force One. Yeah. You can't go wrong with a pair of Air Force unless it's the black one. <laughs> <laughs> that mean you about business when you pull out the black ones. I didn't think, do I have a black pair of horses? I do, I do, I do. Because every now and again, like I'm more so, I'm more so like a dressy kind of girl. Especially on a rainy day or somebody be like, come casual. And I'd be like, what? Well, who are you talking to? Like that. Come casual. What? Like no sandals, no heels? That's what you mean? <laughs> so yeah, you need a good pair of tennis shoes every now and again. Because what you going to do when you're going to... David Busters or my event or like riding go-karts <laughs> for moments like that and for me to still just kind of keep it girly and cute I get to pop out in my pink forces yeah comment down below let me know what you call these where you live I heard different people calling different things in Memphis we call them forces some people say fauces some people say forces I just call these forces so yeah let me know if let's try to put in this we're gonna start off now with jewelry so the first item is the Cartier Love Bracelet. So this is the Cartier Love Bracelet in 18 karat yellow gold. Um, and it is so with this little screwdriver. So this is how it comes with the little screwdriver right here. And you basically use that to kind of like take it on and off with. So once it's on, it's on. I love their packaging, it's really cute. Um, and as far as the bracelet itself, I really just like this. I love it on me. I like the size of it on me too, cause my wrist is like really small. I think I got mine in a did I get a 17 or an 18? It just says bracelet yellow gold and then it has my reference number and my individual number. So I got this one in November. Yep, there's the date. Well, the second time that I went to Dallas. The first time was for my birthday, but the second time, I was back in Texas. <laughs> Another reason too that I like to buy a lot of things in person sometimes compared to online. I did order this online only because my first experience with Louis Vuitton was already in store. I had kind of looked at a gazillion reviews. But I like to kind of, especially when it comes to jewelry, to try it on. And you want to see how it looks on you. Like you might try it on and it's like never mind. Like I've tried on a pair of designer heels before. And it's like, I'm glad I didn't buy that online. I don't like this on myself. But I love this. Their customer service uh, was amazing as well. Just for that experience. I feel like a lot of times, most things you also pay for the experience. They do like the cute little wax like thing right here for when you open it. The certificates and all of that. I need to house all of this stuff in one spot. Cause why is it still in the bag? Oh, I could have read it off of here. The love bracelet. And then also my Gucci bracelet. Did we put, no, we ain't put this in a collective haul. Cause we haven't done one. Cause y'all pushing me out of my comfort zone to do videos like this. So yeah, my Gucci bracelet, I got this one from Reed's Jewelers at the Wolf Chase Mall. I love shopping with them. They're really sweet too. And I think it has like 30, 30 or 33 
of the um, diamonds on the inside of this one and then it just kind of goes all the way around because of the way this one snaps like the locking I don't wear this one all the time because I sometimes it depends on the occasion this is not my preference for a clasp on the way a necklace or bracelet is connected so I don't really wear this one all the time um, but I do wear it every now and again. Am I looking blue to y'all? Um, I actually got this bracelet the same time that I got, but I'm not wearing the earrings today. Um, my Gucci earrings. I love Gucci. Ju <sighs> Juicy. <laughs> One of the reasons that I do like and prefer Gucci when it comes to gold jewelry is because their jewelry is an actual like 18 karat gold. Um, because most designer companies, especially like there's different ones that I've wanted to get in the past. Not to say that in the future I might not pop out with it and it's like, I thought she said when I did. I said it when I did. Most designer companies, they kind of do gold finish. And for me, for the price, as of right now, for me, it's just kind of given like I want to get an actual gold. So this is the next ring right here. Don't remember the size. But we went shopping for this one together in one of the vlogs, if you all saw that. So this is the Icon Thin Band. You'll get them inside of this bag and then it's inside of this box right here so if you ever want to kind of travel with it but yeah I like this one it has like the double G going all the way around on this ring and I normally just wear it on my middle finger and then I also have this one right here the interlocking G this one is the 18 karat gold ring as well so both of these are yellow gold which I love I didn't tell you all the backstory when I went shopping at the time I got stopped at the airport I still to this day don't know like what it was given but she, you know how you pass through TSA, right? And so I'm going through and she's like, wait right here. And she gets like this paper. And she like swatched my hand with it because <laughs> I forgot to take my rings off. We was swimming right before we left to go to the airport. I will wear my costume jewelry so long to the point. I got an anklet on right now and I see the green on it, but I love this anklet and I'm not throwing it out until it fall off of my leg. <laughs> Like I love this little shell anklet. Never mind the fact that it's stuck on my ankle right now and I can't even untie it. But no, I will wear my rings until the green is just showing because I love them so much. It's just like, no, I need my accessories. But getting stopped at the airport like that just kind of had me like, like what could have happened? Like what did she think I was doing? What she thought I was trying to bring? I don't know. I don't really want to have to give disclaimers all the time. I'm just sharing my story. I got a bunch of costume jewelry hanging up in there so I'm not making fun of costume jewelry at all hello <laughs> target if you like these yeah but no so i was just like let me go and get some actual rings and deeper than that for me i hate when i want to be kind of like touchy touchy but i'm hesitant to be that way like i don't know how to be open and vulnerable anymore online when you think of a woman wearing a ring you think of her being married and her husband or the guy that wants to propose to her has purchased that ring right other than that, it's just kind of giving costume jewelry unless you go in and you invested those for yourself. So for me, when I went to the store to get those, and I feel like if I start sharing my stories more, it will kind of be more, you know, I hold back sometimes. I don't know. Longer story short, I didn't want my first real gold rings to be from the day when I get like proposed to or married my husband purchasing that for me. I took myself to the store and I purchased actual rings for myself. That was the short backstory that I didn't give y'all at that particular time. I don't wear them on that finger. Uh, I wear both of them on my middle fingers. But yeah, that's my story for just treating myself to something. Don't get it twisted though. When I'm in the mood, I'ma still, I'm recording. She knew I was gonna say it. I'ma still load my fingers up. Cause when your nails done, I be loving like a bunch of rings on my fingers. So that's why I be like holding on to them. Screenshots that I took are directly from the website. So you can definitely go straight to Gucci, straight to Gucci to get yours. Like I said, I got mine inside of Reeds. Looking at a ring online and thinking that it'll look nice on your finger. That's two different things. So it's giving, let me try it on. <laughs> so the last few items is just some beauty items. So I did a Dior unboxing on did I put it on here as well? Yeah, this hasn't set low enough though, but when it separates, it, you would just kind of mix it. So this oil that I've been wearing a lot lately, one of y'all asked me, do I prefer the Dior or the Tom Ford body oil? Right now, I honestly can't answer because I love different ones for different reasons. They both have their own little fragrance to them. If we go fragrance, -wise, ooh, if we choose uh, fragrance wise, I would definitely say the Tom Ford one. The shimmer in the Tom Ford one is a little more glowy. This one, as it dries down, it's not as like 
shiny, glistening, oiled up, like oiled up, ready to go to the beach type of oil. But it does leave cute little uh, particles and like this gold glow on the skin. So if you want like a gold glitter glisten, I would say get the Tom Ford one. If you want to kind of branch out from just feeling like, okay, I'm everybody doing the Tom Ford one, then maybe give this one a try. I read on the website and just found out that this one is a face, body, and hair oil. I was like, wait, what? Why you keep dropping it? Glow on this is really pretty. And the packaging, yeah. I feel like especially a, a certain price that you pay for certain things, it'd be like, y'all better come with it with this packaging, the presentation, the unboxing, the way y'all wrapped it up, all of that. Even if you purchase something for yourself, select the gift option so that you can enjoy that whole unboxing experience. Every now and again, I'll do that. And then this one is, it just said Christian Dior on the back, so I gotta Google it, girl, cause I don't know the name of that one. Oh, this one is the body gel. Yep, the body gel, sure is. Les Adorables. I'm saying it wrong. It's right here on the screen. <laughs> so this is the golden gel. This one retails for $80. Um, and it has like pearlescence, pigments, and 24 karat gold particles in the formula. Oh. So it says J Adore on the top. I love this one as well. It will come with like an additional seal. This one, I try not to use it up all the time. It's like an alcohol type of kind of it's kind of giving hand sanitizer a little bit. It's giving perfumed hand sanitizer, but that is not what I wear it for. Now the glow on this one, if you want to compare, but that one is a gel, so we be comparing gel to a spray. In person is much better than what might be picking up on camera. You might be able to see it before I rub it in. That's what that looks like. And I kind of just hit the arms and the chest with this. Like I wouldn't just sit there and put this all over the body like it's some body lotion or something. Pick and choose when you put on your more fragrance more luxury, depending on how you define luxury items, just to kind of make them last. I wouldn't wear this like every day. Sometimes I'll do both of these together to make this stretch a little bit. I will pour it into my hands. This one doesn't have a spray either. Don't drop it. Like you just open it and you kind of pump it out like that. Now that it ain't focusing, wait. I just kind of mix it with lotion. So yeah, I love both of these a lot. Now the fragrance on this one is better, yeah. This one would pair nicely with the actual Dior perfumes, and I will do that sometimes. Like, I'll mix it with the body. I think it's the body milk. But whenever you put on your lotion, I just kind of, like, pump the lotion into my hands, pump some of this oil on top, rub it together, and make a little concoction like that. I love a good glow. I love a good glow. So if you, once you put your lotion on and all of that, like, you got to have a little glow on top. Even if not a glow, I love the shimmer that these provide. Top tier. And then one of the other items that I've been wearing actually in this entire video is the Dior lip gloss. I feel like, I don't know if it's the formula changing on these or what, but after a while it just gets dry. And I'm like, why are my lips dry? Yeah, I'm just wearing it with the MAC lip pencil and chestnut. And then the Dior one that I have is zero. 38. I had a dupe for this that I remember was a very similar color to this one. I want to say Moon by Maybelline minus the shimmer glitter that that one get. No, that one is a dupe to me of Fenty Fussy. Maybelline Moon. I love that shade on me. I'm going to go back to that. Like, that's my, that's my go-to. I think they changed the packaging a little bit too, so that's kind of cute. Like I said, not encouraging the retail therapy, but sometimes opening a cute little box just be a little mood booster, okay? Yeah. It's a few more things that I didn't really grab out because I was like, this video gonna be crazy full. And then this is just some more stuff that I got. I know this probably, we pushing on 40 minutes, so I'm gonna keep it short. Uh, some skincare and all of that that I purchased. Why not? Let's just show it. I don't want to open it yet though because I think once you open it, that starts to count on the shelf life. And I got a crazy amount of skincare that I just don't need to open anymore right now. I went into Chanel for a lip gloss, honestly, because I could not find my lip gloss. I'm gonna try to neatly wrap it for tick rewrap for TikTok, so don't judge me. How I got sold on this perfume, I don't know. She let me smell it, and I was like, oh, that smell good. And she was speaking about how, how specific it is to their location and this and that. Girl, I was just in a mood to get sold that day. I'm like, no. She sat me down, did this whole skincare facial on me, couldn't record, y'all know. They didn't allow that. But yeah, so this is the old day parfum in Jersey. I know y'all probably like, well, I wanna see these boxes, girl. If you don't open it, if you don't open it. A lot of the stuff she used on my face, I was like, let me get that, let me get this, let me get that. And she scanned it and rung it up and I was like, the total is what? 
I was like, do you have a smaller size to the perfume? Because why she go grab the big one? Why she give me the smallest size that you offer, ma'am? So I got the 2.5 in this one. Because my total was, I can't even remember how much that other perfume was. This one was 275 for this perfume right here. Now y'all see why I always ask for perfumes. Any special occasion that you have in life, if you're trying to build a perfume connection, collection and you're not asking for perfumes, why not? Why not? It's my birthday, what you want? Perfume. Like, if you don't ask for perfume, today Friday, oh, what you want? Perfume. <laughs> That's how you build a collection. Like, if I was to show y'all all of my perfumes and all of the ones that I never bought for myself, what? Get somebody else to do it. So this is the La Mousse Clarifonte. <laughs> I'm probably not even saying it right. This is that, my skin was glowing though when I left. I was like, wait. See, yep, 18 months. I don't want to start using it yet because I got, yeah, overflow. But I liked how my skin looked, so that's how I ended up getting so basically. I just got, look at my face. I just got a little Chanel little facial situation. Sort of kind of not really. It just played in a few things. And I just tested this perfume. It's like uh, specific to this location, so I'm going to get this as well. Y'all see the glow? I forgot which product she said it was, but when I do the unboxing, I'll let y'all know. <laughs> Yeah, y'all wanna do a skincare routine and I just use it all and show y'all how it is and what it's giving. This is the La Lift. Um, this is like an eye cream, I wanna say. Is this one the eye cream girl? She sold me because the way she was like massaging all over onto my face, and I was just like, wait, it feels so good. Like she was doing my eye like, close your eye, and then she would like, Y'all know how they make sure they do a really good job. So this is that, I think, the packaging on this one is similar to the hand. <gasps> That's what I didn't show y'all, the hand lotion. Hydra Beauty. It's a water cream, girl. Some kind of illuminator or something like that. I also got this. It's giving quick haul now because I'm tired. <laughs> I forgot how long filming takes. This is the gloss. Imagine me getting this gloss and not opening it. Imagine that. <laughs> Typical Destiny. Look at the shade I chose. Look at the shade. That's that mauve cute shade that I like. I don't want to swatch it on top of this glitter on my hands. Or we might wear it in the next video. You got to stay tuned for the next video. Mascara. I got a Chanel. Mascara. Yeah, don't play with me. I got a Chanel mascara. <laughs> this was another retail therapy purchase. Please do not judge me. Uh, first of all, this little shape of this little egg is <laughs> just so cute. I think she told me this one was the... Anti-aging. And you know I'm 32 now, so I got 32. It's like a soft pink to it. And it does have like a light little fragrance to it. So I like that. A quick little touch up when you wash your hands. And yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody be like, can I get some lotion? It depends on if I like them or not. And I'd be like, yeah, sure. <laughs> Otherwise, just give it. I don't got none. I ain't got no lotion. It also depends on which purse I'm carrying too, cause this one, like depending on what else you put, she gonna stick out. Anywho y'all, cause this video, I will sit here and just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk to y'all. Cause first of all, I just love talking to y'all. I'm gonna link everything below that is linkable if I can find it. This is definitely on the list of one of the ones that was out of my comfort zone to film, but we wrote them up on the board and I gotta deliver. <laughs> so y'all asking me for a, a sneaky link shower routine. We're gonna deliver. <laughs> Let me know if you all want the girl chat next because my Timu items are gonna arrive soon, but I know y'all probably don't want like haul after haul. Just, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all want like a what I would purchase again versus not because this was just kind of like the haul, let me know. Hopefully it wasn't too long. I'm gonna try to chop it down a bit. Questions, comments, be sure to leave all of that down below. I think my last collective haul, I wasn't even living here. So I'll still link that one if y'all wanna see younger destiny i'm most likely going to post this thursday so happy thursday and thank you all so much for all of the love on the how to stun on the first lady video listen i know y'all said i came in second place but i'm gonna try again this sunday to do my thing so make sure you're following me on tiktok so y'all can see what it's given and i'll talk to you all in my next upload and to everybody that requested this video thank you i probably had y'all little screenshots flowing in the video because i really like doing that just to kind of make y'all a part of the video with me and i'll talk to y'all in my next video bye bye Bye! Why you wanna start tripping on and start filming? Why? What you doing? What she say on uh Precious? What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> I miss talking to y'all, so bear with me. Love and like on face of your Chanel bag, she pay the grip, she come over, pay her the strip. No attitude, need no lip. She says all mine like a pink slip. And that's just how I live.